Module 5, Making the Connection. Welcome to Module 5, Tech. This module focuses around the essential question, what roles can instructional technology play in teaching and learning in the online and hybrid environment? Technology for teaching. Online learning happens because of technology, and therefore, it is important that we spend a module talking about technology in the different ways it is used for an online course. First, we will look at Moodle, the instructional technology tool that provides the classroom space for an online course, or the online component of a hybrid course. Then, we will look at what kind of content creation tools are available for instructors to use within the course to help communicate information. Moodle as the online classroom. Moodle itself is a form of instructional technology and one that can be used to foster and encourage student interaction with other students, the content, and the instructor. However, that requires making sure to develop your course site in Moodle as a place of interaction and not just a place where course material is located. It does not take a lot to do this, but just being aware that if Moodle is not fostered as a place of engagement, then students will not treat it as such. By now, you are familiar with Moodle's basic functions, such as discussions, quizzes, and assignments, from the student's perspective. However, be sure to check out and think about some of the more specific features of each, such as the discussion formats that you can try out, or different question formats you can use, from the instructor's perspective. Instructors should also look to use the grades, as online students have come to expect to see their grades online and for the grades to be regularly updated throughout the semester. Creating content. These tools can be used by instructors to create various types of course content to communicate ideas, concepts, and information to students. Documents. Documents such as Microsoft Word and PDF files or even Moodle pages are the easiest and most useful within online classes since they require a low threshold of technical knowledge and are quick to produce and upload to the course shell. They also tend to be the easiest materials to create and the most accessible to students. Microsoft PowerPoint. Making Microsoft PowerPoint slides available to help students organize and make sense of the course material is another great way to provide content to your students. This allows for a bit more flexibility around the use of images, alignment, and other aesthetics. Using Microsoft PowerPoint through OneDrive is easy to embed the presentation into a Moodle page and then update the presentation in your OneDrive without having to re-upload it to Moodle as you might have to do with a PowerPoint presentation that's on your hard drive. In terms of accessibility, it is important to run the accessibility check on your Microsoft PowerPoint presentation or to run through the accessibility checklist to make sure your presentation is accessible. Audio podcasts. Audio podcasts are a great tool for an online course as it helps the student connect with the instructor by hearing his or her voice. It is a great way to convey information since the instructor can add emphasis and tone that better focuses the student's attention and understanding. Podcasts are also useful because they can be highly portable so that students can listen to them on many different devices in various locations. They can listen to them on their phones while waiting in line or commuting. For accessibility, instructors should write out their script first and then post both the script and the podcast so that everyone can benefit from it. Videos. It is easier than ever to create videos for online courses to help improve student learning. One does not need much more equipment than a computer and an internal microphone on the computer, though a microphone headset is preferred. The benefits of video for learning are substantial and video helps students connect more with the content in the instructor. It is useful to remember that videos by instructors do not have to be big epic productions, but can be easily created with tools such as Microsoft PowerPoint or Screencast-O-Matic. When making the video, instructors will want to consider if they want to be in the video in full, in part, or not at all. They may also want to create materials such as Microsoft PowerPoint presentations or other visual materials to provide content for the video. There is definitely newer content forms emerging. Keep an eye out for them and think about how they can be used effectively for teaching and learning. To consider with video. 
Regardless of the instructor's style, there will be three major areas to consider with video. Accessibility. The preferred method of making videos accessible is by making sure they are closed caption. In lieu of this, the instructor should make the video script available as well as visuals, where relevant, to the student in addition to the video. Faculty can also find readings that are equivalent in textual format so long as the reader will be able to learn the same material or be able to achieve the same objective as the students who view the video. Copyright. Particularly with video, it is important that faculty use materials they can legally use so as not to violate copyright. This includes using video snippets, images, sound clips, and PowerPoint slide decks that the instructor does not have the right to use. Though fair use is possible to claim in many instances, it is important to remember that fair use is a defense after one has been accused of copyright infringement. A good resource to find such resources would be http colon slash slash search dot creative commons dot org. Storage. If the course will contain a lot of videos, it may be a problem for you or your students to upload lots of videos into the course shell in Moodle. We recommend keeping videos in OneDrive or even creating your own YouTube channel and linking to such content or embedding videos in your course. Borrowing content. Instead of creating content, faculty are also encouraged to find available material on the web that fits their course needs. With regards to using such content, and there is plenty of content out there, there are three things to consider. Accessibility. If you have found the perfect video, you will want to make sure it has closed captioning or work on providing a detailed description of the video. Embedding or linking out. To help students stay in the Moodle environment, it might be useful to embed videos on Moodle so students may not get distracted by associated content on the page. For example, if linking to a YouTube video, students may get distracted with recommended videos on the page. Copyright and Creative Commons. To avoid copyright infringement, it is recommended that you search databases that allow for usage of video content, such as those found in the library, such as Films on Demand, or at Creative Commons, http colon slash slash search dot creative commons dot org, and the Internet Archive, http colon slash slash www dot archive dot org. Supporting student tech challenges in online courses. In choosing to teach online, there is no implicit requirement to become a technology expert. However, it is realistic and relevant to improve upon the range of knowledge about interactive technology for several reasons. The first is in the student-centered model of learning, we cannot expect or demand students to deal solely with text. That does not encourage engagement, it just leads to information overload. The second is that online students expect there to be more use of technology in terms of content such as videos, audio podcasts, and digital presentations troubleshooting and backup plans. Of course, with any use of technology, it is important to be prepared to troubleshoot and have backup plans for various reasons. Below are some of the things to consider on how to help students with issues they encounter with technology you use within your course. Tech challenges for students. Students may run into one of several technical issues depending on what kind of technology you are using. Cost. It is important to aim for affordable, and preferably free, technology for the course. This is often why Web 2.0 programs are encouraged, since they often are free for usage. However, if cost is unavoidable, offer students some ways of dealing with the cost. Such a strategy will depend largely on what kind of technology it is, but it may include lending out the technology, working with computer labs to have it installed in a computer at the college, or identifying places where students can get the cheapest price possible online. Computer Capabilities Though students' computers may meet the technical requirements of distance learning, the technology you use might require more than that, and it is useful to let students know this as soon as possible. In this regard, it's useful to avoid the latest cutting-edge software that demand a lot of processing power. How to use the technology. Faculty need to provide significant support around the technology usage. 
This support would include guidance on not just how to use the technology, but specifically how to use it for the purpose of the course. Additionally, for best practices, it is recommended you provide them with some low stakes opportunity to play with the technology before having them use the technology in a context where they are being evaluated. Providing support for students. When students are encountering challenges with technology you are using within your course, there are several methods of helping them in troubleshooting. The most evident resource is to make sure you have properly identified the help resources of the technology you are using and make sure they are prominent anywhere that you discuss the technology's usage in your course. Instructors might also encourage students to try to take screenshots of their screen if they are coming up with questionable or confusing messages. To take a screenshot, the student will need to do the following. Press the Alt button and the Print Screen, abbreviated often to PRNTSCRN, at the same time in Hold. Open up a document or even an email in Outlook and paste it. Control button and the letter V at the same time. The student can send this image to the instructor for clarification. Note that depending on the version, the function, fn, may need to be pressed instead of the alt button. For Mac, students should press command, shift, and three at the same time. Faculty and students alike can also use YouTube as an aid since it too has many tutorials within its library. It will likely have a lot of resources for any given technology you are considering. And finally, faculty are encouraged to send their students to the help desk at helpdesk at regiscollege.edu for any functional or technical questions about Moodle. Best practices for online and hybrid course design. Learning engagement. Technology tools and media should support student engagement and guide the students to become active learners. Questions. Please feel free to post them in the questions form or send me an email at lance.eaton at regiscollege.edu. Thank you very much.